good morning students so today we have to study about trophies fats and proteins so let's start with the topic so what is trophies trophies is actually the non digestible cellulose we eat a lot of plant products in our diet and the plant cells have the cell wall and cell wall is made up of cellulose and in our case that is in human beings we have the appendix as vestigial organ so when the appendix is a vestigial organ it will not secrete the cellulase enzyme and that is why we are not able to digest that cellulose so which remains in the form of fiber so roughage is the portion of the plant food such as whole grains nuts seeds legumes fruits and vegetables that our body can't digest now you understood why our body can't digest because in our case we have the appendix as a vestigial organ and when we have the appendix as vestigial organ it will not be secreting the cellulose enzyme and that is why the cellulose portion of the cell wall present in these types of foods will not be digested so it will remain in the form of fiber and it is important food source and it is always uh, also helping the beneficial bacteria in a gut so what is the role of roughage this role uh, roughage will retain water so when it retain water it will keep the fecal matter soft and this is how it will prevent from the problem of constipation then it also helps in the movement of the undigested food then it this roughage will stimulate the muscle contraction of the intestinal wall now what are the sources of roughage in this first slide only we have seen from there you will write now what are fats fats are composed of fatty acid and glycerol and the elements present in it is carbon hydrogen and oxygen the ratio of oxygen in fats is comparatively low than the carbohydrates but it will provide more energy as compared to the carbohydrates source of fats you better know ghee butter milk okay cheese vegetable oil fish liver oil all these are the sources of fat now what are the functions of fat the fats produce energy and this energy released by fat is comparatively more than the same amount of the carbohydrates and it also store it is also the stored form of food so at the time when we are not able to take the food from external sources at that time it will be used for uh providing energy when the external food supply is not there then this fat also acts as a solvent and why it acts as a solvent because this fat will be the solvent for the fat soluble vitamins this fat will be the solvent for the fat soluble vitamins like a d e and k these are the fats and these are the vitamins which are soluble in fat so for these vitamins this will be the fat will be the solvent then the fat deposited under the skin beneath the skin will act as a insulator so a layer beneath the skin uh, is made up of fat which is acting as a insulator and this layer of fat will not allow the internal heat to be lost in the external environment and also the external heat to enter inside a body so this is how this insulator layer of fat will act as insulator and it will help to maintain a fixed body temperature then next type of nutrient is proteins proteins is composed of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus and nitrogen is very important for the proteins okay the composing units of uh, proteins is amino acid it means if the necklace for example if the necklace is the protein 
then each bead of that necklace is the amino acid. So, many amino acid will join together to form a polypeptide chain and this polypeptide chain when they are intertwined together by primary, secondary and tertiary rotation then it will be forming proteins. Now, what are the functions of proteins? Proteins helps in the growth. Protein also helps in the repair of the body cells and tissues and sometimes it also releases energy. Now, there are two types of disorders or the diseases caused due to the deficiency of different types of nutrients and these diseases are Quasiorker and mar uh, Marasmus. Okay? Quasiorker in Hindi it is known as Sukha Rog and Marasmus is a another disease. So, Quasiorker is caused due to the deficiency of proteins in a diet. So, this is basically caused due to the deficiency of proteins in a in the diet of the child and this is for age group of 1 to 5 years. Quasiorker would be in the children of the age group of 1 to 5 years. Then marasmus is the disease which affect the infect infants up to one year it will affect the infants up to one year okay so it will be caused due to the deficiency of carbohydrates proteins and fats so severe deficiency of all nutrients and inadequate cal caloric intake it means proteins fats and carbohydrates so combined deficiency of all these nutrients will cause marasmus but the Severe protein deficiency will cause quasiorker. Quasiorker will be affecting the uh, child of the age group 1 to 5 years, whereas marasmus would be affecting the children of up to 1 year, that is, infants up to 1 year. In case of marasmus, there is peripheral edema, is absent, but in quasiorker, peripherema. Peripheral edema is present. Here, hair changes are absent, but in this quasiorker, the hair changes is common. It means it will become sparse and easily pulled out. The skin is dry and wrinkled in case of marasmus, whereas in quasiorker, the skin will become flaky. Voracious appetite, whereas in quasiorker, there will be poor appetite. Appetite, it means it is the feeling of hunger. Absent subcutaneous fat is absent in marasmus and subcutaneous fat in quasiorker is reduced. Fatty liver is uncommon in marasmus and fatty liver is common in quasiorker. Better prognosis and worse prognosis. It means it can be uh, the chances or the symptoms can be reduced by better uh, provision of the diet and quasiorker the chances would be very less. This is the child looking like marasmus and this is for quasiorker. Protruding belly is there in the quasiorker. Okay. This is all for today. Your homework is to write down the definition of roughage, role of roughage, Sources of roughage, okay. Then the features of fats, sources of fats, function of fat. Then the features of proteins, write down the features, functions of proteins and differentiate between marasmus and quasiorker. Thank you all.